In today's world, electronic devices are widespread, and adolescents are thus tempted to use them as much as possible in several locations, even in classrooms. But is the classroom a suitable place for such technology? How could doing so end badly? Are there any benefits in doing so? The students and faculty members of Daniel Pearl Magnet High School have spoken, and they have opposing opinions. I think that electronics shouldn't be used in classrooms because honestly it's really distracting and something that always catches students' eyes when they should be attention, paying attention in class. So if they have it with them, it's really simple to just go to the side and have their own thing going on and not pay any attention to the classroom. While the vast majority of schools still disapprove of the usage of electronic devices on their campuses, a few schools are challenging the status quo by allowing students to use their devices to assist them with assignments. Last November, a study conducted by Teen Research Unlimited done for the Verizon Foundation determined that approximately 6% of middle school students are allowed to use their electronic devices in their classrooms, and 39% of them use these devices to complete their homework assignments. They have a place, but up to a certain point, you know, like, like here we have like you know you have computers and but um, it, it, you, can you the has it has up to a point where it can be useful but also if you take it to, you have to have kind of restrictions otherwise kids are gonna abuse that right to have an electronic in the classroom more interactive parts of class without having the cost for a field trip you can actually have it like on an on like an iPad or some other kind of tablet. Be, you can have the interactive, you can do group projects without having to have supplies, which is always a problem. And other, other benefits that can be found over time. A survey produced by Project Tomorrow, a nonprofit educational organization centered around promoting student opinions on important matters, determined that 56% of middle school students and 59% of high school students would like for restrictions currently in place against the uses usage of electronics in the classroom to be lifted. According to the most recent national data, 24% of K-12 schools have yet to allow the usage of electronics on their campuses. However, 62% of K-12 schools do allow the usage of electronics on their campuses, but not in their classrooms. I think in this day and age that not using it is a humongous disservice to any age student at this point. I, I think for, for student productivity, using technology in the classroom does actually increase their productivity because I think it engages them more and it's more exciting and it's more dynamic than just a teacher-generated lecture. Um, as for teacher productivity, um, I think that utilizing um, technology does actually um, increase their productivity as well. In January 2013, the School Construction Bond Citizens Oversight Committee in LAUSD stated that it would use $50 million to provide all students in their district with tablets. Some believe that a whole new set of problems will come about as a result of students receiving these tablets. I, I get the environmental impact of that, but it kind of switches it from one environmental problem to another environmental problem. So we might be saving trees and saving the environment, but we're creating more um, more issues related to disposable um, technological uh, products as well. If we were to provide you guys with the electronics, like the district had the, this, this idea that we're going to provide everybody with a tablet, I have no problem with that. I think that's a great idea, absolutely fantastic idea. But having you guys have to pay for your own electronics, that's not fair. We can have we can have we can have asynchronous communication back and forth, meaning that you can send me a message and then I can respond to a, a message later on and communicate back and forth and have a dialogue completely outside of the classroom, which is really what these things are really good at. Some people believe that current restrictions against the usage of electronics in the classroom are inappropriate for the world of today. It's been. In, those rules were made in, at the start of, you know, of electronics becoming more and more popular, and now it's become so important and such a useful teaching tool that it's getting, we can't afford to reject it. 